I will be talking about how I made my adjustable voltage power supply from a computer power supply. The voltage measurement ranging from 3.3 volts, 5 volts and 12 volts and also a laptop power supply voltage at 19.8 also a DC step down buck converter adjustable voltage at 1.2 to 18.5 volts including a 5 volt for USB this is the unit the case is from a, a, a hair dryer I should say it's a timer case from a hair dryer saloon which I modified to build the power supply the components this is the computer power supply I have the power coming in here a fuse underneath here the wires running along here coming to a rotary switch right here it if something goes wrong with this unit the way I build it it can be detached except in the cables I would have to unsort the cables here but the power supply and everything can be detached and take out from the unit this here is a computer power supply which supplies nine volts this is a buck regulator that's not what I want in here but because of the COVID-19 I use that still until I get the other one I have the voltmeters here this is the voltmeter and amp meter voltmeter and amp meter and this one is a straight voltmeter this one is for the 19 volts this one is for the computer power supply the 3, 5 and 12 volts and this one here is for the buck reg regulator it has a fan at the back the fuse the power I have a, a switch here but when I put everything together it a switch started working and then it just stopped so since I glued and stick everything I didn't want to take out the switch so I left it this is the front of the unit the adjustable voltage here the power on this is for this side where I would get my 3, 5 and 12 volts from this is for the computer power supply 19 volts put on this this switch and 19 volts that's controlling here if I put this off leave the computer power supply on put this switch on then I will be getting an adjustable voltage from 1.8 to 18 point something volts this here is for 5 volts output whether the system is on or off 
I'll be getting 5 volts from here. This is the inside of the unit. In another video, I'll show how to hook up these uh, meters and also the rotary switch, how to hook it up. Let me connect. I also have the ground right here to the body and a ground here for the computer power supply. This is the unit. This is the unit. Right now the power is on. The meters are being fed with 5 volts. So as soon as you put the power on, it comes on. On the standby 5 volts. When you Put this switch on. I think you could hear the fan running. And then you turn your switch. Your 3 volts. If you notice this light here comes on. That's to tell you this is charged. 4 volts which is 5 volts and your 12 volts now the amp meter isn't running because I don't have anything hooked up here as yet then you put off this you put this switch on that switch turns on the computer power supply which is 19 volts but nothing on the meter yet then you put this switch on and you get your 19 volts so from here i guess i will be getting straight 19 volts you put off this and then you put on this switch then you turn your knob to get whatever voltage you want and here is 5 volts out if i need to charge a phone or work on something that needs 5 volt constantly it would be here so once this is off this is off the whole unit is off the meters are on by the 5 volt standby rail everything I used and show in this video i'll be putting it in the a link in the description below if you find this video was helpful please like subscribe and click on the bell icon to be notified of further videos
in the next video i'll be speaking about the meter how to hook it up the rotary switch how to hook it up this is it for now bye and thank you